All right, guys, this is Kevin from k &H Aquatics Restorations and Creations. Coming at you with some uranium glass or Vaseline glass. My first three pieces that I've bought was pretty cool. And there's tricks. You know, the only trick I know is to get a UV light or maybe black light. But I made my own out of it's a little holder, little little light holder or battery holder. And what I did was hook two LEDs, UV LEDs. up the anode on the LED would be the longer leg that's positive cathode is negative so I wired two of them in a series positive to negative positive to negative and the negative comes down to the black and when we get here or two AA batteries, 1.5 volts a piece. I don't need a resistor for this. This is way cheaper than going out and buy, going out and buying like a $20 black light for something if you're interested in just this one particular thing. But you pop pop it in and if I can get it in right and off we go the whole point behind this is when you shine it on the uranium glass it glows and it's really cool so Get my big butt up, turn off the light, and I'll show you. There we go. So, to me, this is the only way that you can tell that it's uranium glass. Uh, other than, I mean, uranium glass was only these for a certain amount of time there are still your there's still uranium in glassware past the night what i believe it's 1904 1920 something like that carnival glass but this you can tell it's hand blown got the little bubbles in it i mean it's just and really cool and just handling this thing I've already grown a third leg which is cool but this thing these I mean these things are just beautiful and if you're ever out at an antique store or whatever they say it's uranium glass then you can either have your big $20 black light and your splurge on two three cent diodes and learn how to wire things up. But this is the prettiest one of them all. And I mean, it's gorgeous, but the little cup I'm giving to my brother because favorite color is green but I had to have them I've been looking at looking for them for a while and I bought them too cool like I said 
this is about the only way that I can tell I'm nowhere near. I mean, I just learned about this stuff. I just. Really into history. Really big into history. I had no idea that this stuff even existed. So, that one belongs to my younger brother. He will be getting it. But it's just. I can't say to the untrained eye. But what you're going to be looking for is. Like a greenish hue, like a lime green type of color. I'm so professional. Um, there's other forms of it, but this is, from what I understand, this is the most common. So, with that being said, Thank you for watching. I'll see you.